so I began to really worry about this simultaneous expansion of power, market, context, uh, access to resources, influence around the world, right? Because commercial hip hop goes further than any other hip hop around the world. It's got a market engine propelling it. So this massive expansion, and then at the same time as this power is going this way, the story, particularly about young people of color, especially African Americans, are going like this. So that to imagine yourself or others in this group through hip hop means to congeal by the mid 2000s, around 2005, it needs to congeal around some of the most stereotypical conceptions of, of what it means to be, say, an African-American youth. So what I was really concerned about is, well, what are 11-year-old girls and boys imagining about themselves in relationship to this? Now, I don't think it's just a one-way siphon. People are very creative. They work against the grain all the way. But they can't work against the grain when it's a deluge. It's, it's very difficult to work against the grain when it is so overwhelming. So I was very concerned about the fragility of particularly marginal communities and the ways in which this commercialized narrative of their own lives was encouraging an investment in the very icons or stereotypes that pre-existed them, but in fact were being brought back to them in the form of, of self-expression, of seemingly autonomous self-expression. And so I want to close by, by asking that um, we just take the language of, of the notion of representing in hip hop, which I just love, you know, if you're an academic, you love when you know, pop culture gives you phrases that you thought were academic and put, gives them back to you. So to represent in hip hop is to really speak about a particular experience or truth of yours in some way. Um, and I want to challenge us to represent not just what we think we know, but to represent what we actually want. And in so far as hip hop can help us with that, I want to encourage you to think very carefully about the, really in a sense, what it means to represent, to invest in ways of thinking and being that move us away from where we want to go, rather than creating spaces of possibility together. Um, and, and you know, in that sense, I think there's, there's an enormous future if we enable that space, if we engage in those places and pursue them. But to do that, we have to pay critical attention to really the war that's going on about what it means to participate in our cultural realm and who matters.